Light is so good that bright. Okay, so I don't know who's watching it and it seems I'm getting some views and uh, there is no specific topic for the channel yet and to be honest I wouldn't even want to go into that direction unless I some how find a topic which captivates me to a point that that's all I think about but I don't think that will happen I uh, I, uh, I live quite a hermit life you would say uh, not really social but uh, there is uh, good reasons for that um, I was social, I was, uh, had girlfriends, I uh, uh, lived a normal life, uh, worked uh, and stuff, and I got badly in love with a woman, and I didn't take too good to the breakup. I uh, couldn't picture myself without her. Now I, I was at the age of 29 when that happens. So it's like, it's not like I'm 18 and you know, there's plenty fish out there. It's like I've been looking for this woman. This woman was perfect for me. So, and I felt like it was entirely my fault and I might be wrong there to some degree but there is definitely a lot of fault lies that lies with me for why it went wrong. So I tried uh, boozing to get rid of her out of my head, tried smoking, nothing helped, nothing helped, I didn't care at all about shit, I mean, I was like, fuck it, I'm done, so, uh, but, I don't know, killing myself seems kind of too permanent, like, it's not something I can back out of with any amount of effort, so I decided to kill myself slowly, and I, I just, you know, from normal, normalcy, uh, you know, just alcohol and weed here and there. I went to the dirtiest place I knew. I grabbed the first junkie I saw. And I said, show me. Show me your stuff. Show me how you do it. And that's how I got into opioids. Well, long story short. <laughs> I lived on the street for five years and when the use became so unbearable that uh, the life was so unbearable that it was either Either I'm ending it, like, that. that's it, like, I, I don't want this, like, if this is the killing me slowly, then, then fuck it, then I'm done. So, in my mind, it was either life or death, so I decided life. And I knew that so many parts of the society, of my environment, that everything 
uh, made the condition that, that uh, allowed me to do that mistake. Uh, not that I am saying that uh, I wa it wasn't by my own device, it was completely by my, my own device, but you philosophers out there know that uh, it's not that simple. Um, but the the thing is, I don't want to make this channel as a as a you know drug related channel. Like I got clean and now I'm working and, uh, and I stay clean and stuff like that. Like I I just want to put that shit behind me. You know, and uh, get on with my life. Like, uh, um, let's say that a few years back, I couldn't imagine to, that I'd have a laptop, uh, my own uh, house. Uh, I mean, that house, but you know, a rented apartment. Uh, which uh, is nice to live in and uh, well that, that that's that's really putting a long story short on who I am now so that's uh, let, let's say that among the Necessarily, you know, I lived five years on the street, so the life there is uh, well, it's not something that a normal person goes through. So I met and experienced things that the average person didn't. So the people around me seem kind of weird. I don't know, like for me, like almost everything I own is almost like gold plated for me. Because I know how it is having nothing. I know how it is being uh, hungry. And And all of that. So, um, the first video I made was during my usage. It's still on. Uh, back then, of course, I was ashamed to reveal. Well, not ashamed, but uh, I didn't want to reveal my face, my identity. Uh, now I just don't care, like, it's like, uh, what's gonna happen, especially since I'm speaking to an English-speaking uh, uh, audience and uh, I live in Israel, if it's not obvious by now. So... I am... Uh, like more like an observer of of society from the side it's it's like uh, a passage that uh, a phrase that george carlin said like he just enjoys watching all this shit unfold from the side and just having a grand time at uh, watching this shit show uh, so it's it's something like that like I don't have any stakes in it of course I am extremely grateful to be in a place that provides me with uh, safety security and the opportunities to lift me up from the extreme poverty I was in and, and of course that went without help from some uh, people that I can count on one hand but the person that helped 
me the most by far is myself. Without me, all the other things wouldn't matter at all. Uh, but they do matter. Once I decided that I want to live, and it's worth living, and a sober life, then the help of others became valuable. And it really did allow me to to come to a position where I could record a video on a good phone to YouTube and without aching from uh, pain because I need some uh, chemical inside me. <laughs> So yes, faith in God is correlated with that, but I, I, I believe it's, it's more beneficial than just for an addict to get clean, it, is, it gives structure and a meaning to life, something that is really lacking in today's life. Jordan Peterson uh, made the uh, how do they call that uh, panel the TED uh, talk and if you want that video I highly recommend that uh, just type in YouTube uh, Jordan Peterson TED talk uh, behind it's a TED with a lot of letters I don't know what that means but whatever and he really speaks of this. And if I'm not mistaken, he himself is Christian. But I think he's the sort of Christian that I am. He understands the benefits of, of faith. He understands the, the, the spiritual aspect. The, the hungers that the human spirit has, that it feeds. And again, as, 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 a, as a full blown atheist, uh, it's, it's, we don't really have that yet. Science is great for those who can do, you know, uh, advanced arithmetics and uh, can, uh, afford themselves, I don't know, uh, highly expensive telescopes and, uh, and have the mind, uh, have a brilliant mind uh, for it and didn't ruin it with uh, using uh, substances which mess with your mind. So uh, I'm at a point where, where I'm content with my progress, uh, I was uh, I first time yesterday visited uh, a church, which the beauty of it was just jaw dropping. The beauty, I mean, I I couldn't believe that that the closest just around the corner is such a beautiful thing is exists and it was quite an experience and it's not the first time I've been to a ch I've been to another church but it is quite different it is very different and in a for in the uh, future video I will I will talk about it it's an entirely separate and I think very interesting subject but I'll leave it for later so this video is about who am I? And, and, uh, but besides all of that, I do see myself as you would say an uneducated intellectual. 
I mean, I think I have a pretty, I don't know if, if unique, but uncommon uh, view of the world. If you know Black Pigeon speaks, I agree with a lot of things he says, like, uh, not all, because uh, his view on Israel is uh, very... Uh, well, let's say uncaring at best, but uh, but I, I cannot, you know, like I like everything you say and, until you talk about uh, my country. So that, that, that's I think not fair. So and uh, the point that he he did made was human and and plausible, and I can understand that. Though I don't like it, but. Uh, he, it it was more of a uh, subjective way of thinking because he said like it's a country nobody cares about. That's subjective. Like uh, we need to stop. Uh, Although he, he lives in Japan, but uh, the, like the West should stop uh, aiding Israel. I, I'm not gonna get into that politics. That's that's politics is the, the I don't want to get too much into into this. And so I'm very interested in the. Philosophy, the ideas in the lifestyle, and uh, at making the right choices and leading a life which is good for you and which you can be good by. I mean, by the good life you lead, you can do good. Be a part of society. So, um, that's about it. I see it's already like almost an 18 minutes long video, which in YouTube terms is, is like, I don't know, like five hours or something. So, I'll see you guys. Uh, in the next video uh, I really do wish people would leave some comments some suggestions and for uh, uh, my videos that would be very helpful so yeah I uh, thank you for those who watch till the end I appreciate it please do leave a comment if you did and I do keep in mind I'm very open-minded, so we can discuss everything, uh, and I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.